Today, we are going to be making black raspberry vanilla soap. It's one of my favorite fragrances. Um, I am a swirl girl. I like to call myself because I love the swirls. I like a plain bar of soap too. But if you're gonna be soaping and you're gonna be making it yourself, why not make it fun and with some pizzazz and some jazz, you know? Get your day all hype before you have to go to work. Wah, wah, wah. So we're gonna be heading over here and we're gonna be starting to make that soap. But before we do that, if you like this video or videos like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. For more information of where you can buy my products, please check in the description below. I am on Etsy and I do have a blueenvy.com, but most of my things are on Etsy. Hey, first thing I'm gonna be doing is putting my gloves on. I know my table looks like it's in a bit of disarray because I quickly put these things on the table before my son took a nap. He is 14 months and he is a very busy boy. So I like to try to get as much as I can get done before he takes a nap. And then when he takes a nap, I do the dangerous things. And I say dangerous because I'm working with lie and I don't want him to be near me or awake when I'm messing with it. So excuse the tape. All right, I'm gonna be plugging in my handy dandy blender. And while I'm getting myself situated, tell me what's y'all's favorite thing to soap? Like, do you soap vegan? Do you soap hot process? Do you soap cold process? What's your favorite fragrance? I'm gonna tell you about mine. I love doing cold process. And it's because like I said before, I'm a swirl girl and I love the swirls. Can you swirl in hot process? Yes, you can. But for me, I found it very difficult. So only if I need soap like really quickly will I do a hot process bar. Um, so like I said, today we're gonna be making black raspberry vanilla. I've already got my oils in here. I pre-did -did this about three days ago. I pre-did my lot about three days ago. What I'm going to be adding to this is going to be some kaolin clay that I'm just going to put in right now. And um, I'm going to buzz that up really well. And I add the kaolin clay because uh, I feel like it helps the fragrance stick. Please forgive the blender. It's going to be loud for just a bit. All right. I have that done uh, to my satisfaction. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, why didn't she tap her blender before she put it in she's incorporating bubbles you can do whatever you want to do you can soap however you want to soap and i'm going to soap however i want to soap um sometimes i do it and i find that um i don't know if it's with my uh recipe or if it's the fact that i swirl i don't notice the bubbles or whatever people say is the reason why they tap the stick blender before they put it in. It's basically, you're gonna put it in, boom, 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 and then that's supposed to knock out the air bubbles. It, it doesn't bother me one way or another. All right, so moving on. Now that I got that done, let me tell y'all a little bit about what colors I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using some activated charcoal today. I'm gonna be using this Queen Purple Mica by Brambleberry, Queen Purple Mica. Mica by Brambleberry. This is just some hardwood activated charcoal powder that I got off of Amazon. And then I'm going to be using this um, DC Red number 21. It's a lake. I love it because I'm only going to use a little bit because I don't want it to stain. But I love the hot pink color that this gives off. And I'm going to be using some titanium dioxide, which I just put into this container.
because um and i got it off i got this from brambleberry it comes in a plastic like ziploc bag and i just pour it into my own containers same thing like my kaolin clay and then i just label the the top so i know what's in it so those are the colors that we are going to be using today hence for the reason why i have these three containers here in this so we're going to be doing white purple pink and black today so i got four vessels to put to do that in so i also have a lot of soap soap making makes a lot of dishes so i tend to use the same all uh, utensils twice if i can so the same thing i'm using for my kaolin clay i'm going to wipe it off because it is not contaminated in any way and i'm going to be dishing out my colors into um into this when I get ready to make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my titanium dioxide inside of this uh, vessel here because that's how I mix my color in. Some people use a little bit of oil to do it um, from your batch. And you can go ahead and stir this around to liquefy this so that it's not clumpy or powdery or whatever the case may be. Um, same thing with the activated charcoal and the, um, the lake that I'm going to be using. Um, but majority of my batch is going to be purple. So I'm going to save this for, um, the big container here. And so I'm going to be putting my lake into the other container. And I'm going to be using the same thing uh, and using it for my black. And I'm going to wipe it down because I'm also going to use it to um, texture my tops of my soap. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Leave that out. All right. So this batch that I have is gonna be a four pound batch and I am going to be using my Nurture Soap. Uh, I think this is a five pound mold. I think that's what it says, but I make a four pound batch of oils and then I put it in and then I texture my top. I like a texture top and it fits in my box just fine when I do it that way. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And see, during that talk time, uh, I, you probably can't see it. There are no bubbles in here from me tapping it or not tapping the stick blender at all. Everything has settled. And now I'm getting ready to add the, um, the lye into this. Um, some people say you pour it down your stick blender. Just be careful when you pour it at all. I don't use safety glasses. I am not advocating not wearing um, safety glasses. I just know that I'm being really careful when I'm pouring it very slowly into my batch. And when I'm done with it, I sit it underneath here. Uh, this is like a two tier table, so um, I can sit it there and it's out of the way. I don't have to worry about it falling over, getting on my stainless steel table or anything like that. So what I do is first I begin to stir it before I start buzzing it with my stick blender. I just try to incorporate it just a bit, swirling it around from top to bottom, and then I start to buzz. Do you have to do that? No, it's just what I do. And I don't use my 
my measuring parts. I, I don't know how to say like the, I just go by eye. I feel like soaping, if it's something that you love, it's just like cooking. So I don't use any specific amount each time because that's not what natural soap is about. To me, natural means how it comes without augmenting it in any way, you know? So this is how it comes. However I feel it, this is how it comes. So now, because I've already poured those out, I'm gonna go ahead and add my purple to this batch here. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna um, take my stick blender out because I wanna blend my white. After I blend my colors, then I'll show you what the texture of the batter looks like before I start to pour it into the mold. Um, I haven't put the fragrance in yet because I don't want my time to get away from me because I'm shooting a video. But if I wasn't shooting a video, I would have just went ahead and put the fragrance in the batch and then poured it and then colored it. Because again, I'm always uh, short for time because I have to do things when my baby is sleeping, as do a lot of us mothers out here in the world. <clears throat> so, I'm mixing the white, I'm mixing the white. And I, I also, another tip, because I do not ever put my fragrance in my white, the white that I have, I always over stick blend my white so that it can be the same consistency as my other colors because um, it tends to be looser. And when I'm ready to texture that top, that it, the, the white tends to be really milky if you don't extra blend it. That's just my opinion, but that's how it works for me and my batch. That looks how I like it. So the next color is going to be white. Let me see. Um, I'm going to stick this in here real quick and I'm going to show you what the white looks like um, right now. Right, we're now mixing up the pink. ahead and put some uh, fragrance inside the pink. All right, and now I'm going to be going over to the black. To the black and let me get I don't know a better way to show you like all the colors together there all right and yes I know this is black and this is purple but the amount that's on here will just give me a darker shade of purple, so I don't worry about it. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it. I'm going to scoot these to the side so you can see what it looks like. put the 
rest in here because this is the bulk of the batch of soap here. And continue to stick it in. Okay, so now, um, let's see. I'm gonna try to show you what this pink looks like. This is the perfect texture for me. Like, bubbles out, see that? It kinda looks thick, see that? I like that texture, that's perfect for me. Um, so that's what our pink looks like. This is our white. See how it's doing the same thing? But you have to over mix it to get the same consistency as the there's the black doing the same thing and then the purple that i used here all right let's put it in we are all set and we are ready to pour so i'm gonna pour like this i put the purple in first because that's my base color i just put a lot of it in right there and then I go behind my purple with my pink that's chunky because I'm saving a little bit for the top I'm gonna break it up with some white and then I'm gonna go again from way up top with the black. And I will top it off with more purple. Okay? And then I'm going to bang it. Sorry about that. I bang it here, and then I'm gonna get you a close up of what this looks like before. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape my bowl um, because I wanna make sure that I'm getting my colors on before I can't anymore. Because, like I said, I like my batter to be really thick, kinda, so that I can get the look that I'm going for. I like you to really see the chunks of color in my soap. Um, if you do, if you pour the soap, cause I'm a drop swirler, I don't tend to swirl it after it's in there. However it happens is how it's supposed to happen for me. Um, so, um, oh, let's get this in. So, uh, I just, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying, but I have to do, I, I'm just saying that I have to kind of do this part quickly because of the amount of uh, buzzing that I do. Because I try to get my soaps done, everything done and, and cleaned up like within 30 minutes because I don't know how long my son is going to nap. And, you know, I have a business to run. I have a lot of errands I need to do during the day, paperwork and orders and listings. So, um, the, the easier you can make things for yourself, the better, I think. And you see, I'm just pouring this, uh, but this is a, still a bit milky, um, but um on the bottom side of it it is but it's still doable i'm gonna hope for the best when i get ready to texture this top because i'm gonna be pouring the purple on top last so hopefully the white will just be peeking through i don't want to muddy it up oh i know what i was saying 
if if you do a loose batter and you're trying to do a drop swirl it is going your colors are going to muddy in your swirl or they're going to be thin wispy swirls and i don't tend to like thin uh the thin wispy swirls it's just my preference it's all about what you like and what your customers like but first you have to think about yourself because you have to enjoy making it if you're gonna make this a business you have to enjoy what you do there are some things that you have to sacrifice for your customers um yes because you are a business owner but um it has to be a good a good fit for you too everything that you do needs to be doable for you you know a lot of people like custom this and custom that but if you start customizing everything you're gonna be ready to pull your hair out and that's not what i want to do being an entrepreneur is supposed to be freeing yes i know it's hard work but it's also supposed to be freeing okay it's supposed to free you up to do other things that you love you won't be attached to somebody else's uh way of thinking or somebody else's uh rules to how you should think and how you should design and things like that so my things are not tutorials it's just me making soap talking about business and giving you tips about how you can do it better so now that i've done that let me this is what the top looks like here, there, boom. All right, so I'm going to be taking my last paper towel and I do wanna wipe my sides down. I don't know that's just what being an entrepreneur means to me if you don't mind you can tell me what entrepreneurship and running your own business or you know being a stay-at-home mom what does it mean to you what does it mean to you here we go with our texturing I'm just going in and just using this little uh, tablespoon thingy here to texture the soap and once I'm done I will give you a um, a close-up view of what what it ended up being All right, I think that's it. I'm just gonna use the back end of this tablespoon to just go across like this, just to clean up the sides like so. Boom, I like it. We're gonna see what it looks like after it's done. So this is the top. I love it. Looks good, right? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's almost like baking, right? You see those stiff peaks? Okay, yes. Come through, hot pink. You see that on the side right there? I can't wait to cut this. It's gonna be yummy. Mm, it smells yummy. All right. Join me back right here for the cut. I'll be right back. Bye. All right. Let's get into it. Here we go. Look at that. Ooh. 
I love it. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to cut it. All right. Well, in about 23 hours, we will be cutting this soap. I love wet soap. Look at it. It's just so nice. join me back here again for my next video on youtube if you have not yet subscribed like this video or hit the notification bell shame on you join me here until next time bye